What's going on, everybody? <laughs> Welcome back to the Pace Studio here in Midtown Manhattan. We are broadcasting to you live from the Manhattan Center on 34th Street here, as always. And with us right now is Gangsta Grass. Yeah. Guys, up, yeah. thank you so much for coming to Pace, playing yeah. in our cabin. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we set this nice. cabin up just for you guys. You built yes. it last night. Nice. That's just so good. It's pretty fresh. This is our favorite cabin in New York City. Yeah, it's, <laughs> our, it's ours, too. It's ours, too. And we've seen them all, believe me. Yeah. Um, so, uh, Gangsta Grass, uh, you guys are working on something unique right now. Uh, there's going to be a live album coming out later this year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, it's a, it's sort of a, it's an interesting concept how you're doing it. Basically, you're going to record, I think, every show on your tour, right? Yeah. And, uh, and pick songs. It's a, batch, a bunch of new songs mixed with some older stuff. Uh, and you're going to sort of go through the shows, pick out which songs are what you want to give to the people and make your first ever live album. Yeah. yeah, it's basically yeah, so the it's idea. It's going to be like highlight tracks from the tour, yeah. Yeah, cool. Um, that sounds great. We should do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. good <laughs> idea, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thanks, I just thought of that just now. <laughs> cool, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks, thanks. Um, oh, wow. So I know, so today, like on this live record, we're going to hear a mix of uh, <clears throat> some new material and some older material that's appeared on some of your records. Mm-hmm. Uh, so let's start it off with a song. Tell me a little bit about this first one. Cool. Uh, this is a song that I wrote, uh, took into the group, and it's about recidivism, which, man, if you don't know what that means... Go look it up. <laughs> this is actually the true story of Dan White. A lot of people don't know that. <laughs> Thankfully not. I want to. said if you come back around i'm going out like judge dread what was in your head when you made those choices i can only hope that you were played by voices when you made the decision not to listen to the one that was on your side when you started to slide mama brought you back home she was broken down to the bone because you had been gone so long but all of a sudden there's a knock at the door just when mama thought that she wasn't gonna see you no more and then she's down on the floor crying and screaming oh lord my baby's back i must be dreaming god forbid she realized that when she woke up that she was gone now i gotta help her carry on word is born son you broke her damn heart broke it into pieces now i gotta put it back together when you've done your time and you come back out that Seemed to horrify the strongest When I left alone, I haven't been to in the longest Let a life by the sword force to fall upon it The kite flew, there was nobody left to correspond with Familiar faces either passed on the flip So there wasn't much left for me to do except dip Too many years lost off the lives of a snitch So it was either do a bit or end up lying in the ditch Now, left to walk across the land as a mystery Every new town reinvent a new history I turn my back on my past just to get to see a new day. 
reframe my identity to get to sleep at night Man, I need about a fifth at least The dirty deeds that I did just to get to eat Melancholy and emptiness The unseen consequence of the conditions of release We found a man the other day Hanging from the ceiling His sentence was almost out and end Thank you so much. No doubt. Thank you. So that was a song, uh, I believe, off your last record, American Music, yes. yeah, That's from right. 2015. Mm-hmm. And uh, so for people who are not familiar with Gangster Grass, uh, as you can tell, this is sort of a, a very unusual mashup of bluegrass traditional kind of music and uh, hip hop, two things that are not often jammed together. You guys have been doing it for years now um, yeah. and sort of mining new sounds uh, sort of with each progressive album. Uh, and, you know, so I'm, I'm wondering, like, you know, that, that song came out about three years ago. Mm-hmm. And you guys have always sort of, like, had this great ability to meld what would be considered sort of traditionally white music with traditionally black music uh, in this country. And I'm thinking since 2015 up to where we are now, has that mission or that, you know, aesthetic, that style, that concept changed for you become sort of even more poignant with where we are right now it feels like it um you know when when we're all over the country and meet people from all over the country and all over the world you know the 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 goal is to really just make sure that the people are immersed in 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 what we're saying you know what i'm saying and so it's got to be meaningful to everybody and you know we've we've got fans that are on all sides of the spectrum yeah and the hope is that with a lot of what we're saying, you can sway some people and at the same time confirm some people that they're they're not crazy about the how they feel about the world. Yeah. 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 We've yeah. Been, we definitely had um I guess more time to learn how to assert our point of view. Yeah. On things. And is that something that has really come to the fore? Because, I mean on the, on a song like that one, you know, there there's a very strong and a direct kind of a point of view. And so, like you know, you and I know there are, there are new songs coming down the road that you guys are going to be recording for this live album. Was there any you know change in your approach on on, on how you kind of come at this music, or are you just sort of you're doing what you do, and you as you've always done, you know? Well, I think for writing this song, you know, I definitely came in and tried to think about like, you know, I want to uh, you, when you when you write sort of the bluegrass part of a song like this, you're bringing in at most fifty percent of the of the work. You know, you're going to bring it in, bring it to the MCs, and then see what they're going to write. On it and see what they put, uh, what they what they add to it, um, which is going to be guaranteed. It's going to be something that I had not thought of or that I wouldn't have been able to write myself. So that's just uh, that's just you know I think best case that's how songs like this get written is yeah. uh, in that collaborative way. And uh, I don't know. I was looking back at when I joined the band was right shortly after uh, Trayvon Martin was killed, mm-hmm. and uh, you know and since then it kind of seems like. Everywhere we go, we went to, uh, I think, Charlotte uh, shortly after things were popping off down there. And sometimes I look at, at what's been happening and I think, man, is it just everywhere we go is stuff like that's happening? And no, it's not necessarily that. It's more I'm starting to be more aware of it because of who I roll with and because of, you know, the things that we do. We just we just are maybe starting to pay. I think everybody's starting to pay more attention. Yeah, it's not necessarily that the world has changed. Yeah, yeah, cool. If um, I may say, uh, I'm not that big a fan of that song, just because he completely outshines me on it. <laughs> His verse on there is absolute magic. Find the if you didn't hear it, find the lyrics. It's amazing. Uh, honestly, yeah, it's it amazing. Yeah, um, <laughs> that's cool. I love I love like you know there's there's uh, 
there's some competition. You know, so I mean, like, when you guys are writing a song, do you come with like a, you know, like there's a there's the bluegrass, you know, element of it has a lyrical concept that the MCs then add to, or is it like you come with a piece of music and the words totally? It, it varies on the song. Yeah, yeah, sometimes we just start with the a riff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, a lot of times it just depends on the song. Yeah, it's good to come at it from different directions, like starting from more bluegrass thing gives you sort of a different process as opposed to like starting with a hip hop verse. We do that sometimes and or starting with a beat or a lick, like depending on your starting point, you kind of end up with a different combination. And so there's so many different ways to bring these together that helps us sort of mix it up a little bit. Yeah, cool. Um, so we're going to we're going to hear a few more uh, mm -hmm. from Gangster Grass. Um, tell me a little bit about what what's coming up next. Yeah, uh, Andrew's going to sing this one. I'm going to sing a song called Home. Uh, you know, in opposition to Dan's, you can never go home. But that last song was "You Can Never Go Home Again," and this is this is called "Home," and we like to do these back to back in our live show. Yeah, yeah. just to be confusing. Like, but anyway, um, I wrote this song and brought it to the table. So, yeah, I'm gonna lead it off with some dobro. Cool.
in the home of the brave, land of the free, great, great, great grandson of a slave, name stolen since the day that we came, and pack ships, dank as coffins when they lay in the grave, thief, nah, I take what was rightfully mine, my 40 acre star here, you standing right on the line, so if you trespass, feel the wrath that I unleash, get incinerated by the blast of the sun's heat, and I don't think they're making SPF fit out chemical that's high enough to save you yet. If you ain't about to give it, I'ma take respect. A quick flash, whiplash that can break your neck. The plot thickens. Situation serious is cancer. I ask the questions, they scared of the answers. So they distract us and stay making plans to act on up to so many ways you can't imagine. That's why I stay on the mission to get knowledge. It's all politics and it's getting about dollars. They pop collars all day, but I ain't gotta play that way. That's all that I gotta say in my home. Guys, thank you so much. So I was gonna, I want to ask about this uh, this record. We were talking about it a little bit before uh, when we opened up. This is going to be coming out a little bit later this year. It's your first live record. Seems like kind of an about time kind of a situation mm -hmm. uh, because as we were talking about uh, earlier, your your live show and your records are different things. Very, very. Um, and so I know the, the plan here is to take a batch of new material, mix it with some older material, record each song along the way, and then make a live album. Tell me a little bit about why now's the time for this. Well, it's, it's overdue probably, um, but we've, we've noticed over the last few years of touring that we're bringing out such new stuff in the live performances because we're able to take advantage of the fact that bluegrass and hip hop both have improvisational elements that are really strong. And so having both of those there, we know that the MCs can freestyle and the instrumentalists can solo, and we do a lot of spontaneous stuff and a lot of, a lot of energy that happens when we're on stage that we're, we're doing that's totally changing it from the album version. Yeah, um, and you know, unlike a lot of live albums that you will find, uh, there's a plenty of new material stacked into this one, mixed with uh, some older stuff. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you know, why go that route uh, in terms of presenting this, the newer songs? Was there ever, you know, was there ever the, the impetus to record them and then make a live album? Or, you know, why roll it into one thing? Well, one, one thing that we're working on is developing new material that we sort of evolve on the road so that it, it goes through and gets battle-tested and improved on that way. Because that was something that we also found putting out the albums and then taking the songs on the road, the songs would grow from there. And we wanted the chance to, to take them on the road and see what happens with them. And, and then for our next studio album, they will have gone through the process of growing and evolving in the way that we do things on the road, and then we can capture that. Yeah, cool. So, I mean, it's, it might be a little bit... It seems like it might be a little bit difficult when you get to the end of this tour. You're going to have a, a ton of material to dig right. through. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. And I wonder, I mean, you're going to have so many versions of each song. You know, how do you know when the right one strikes you? A, a lot of it is we, we all just kind of know. Like, there'll be shows that we finish. We're like, hey, that was a really good show. And then there are shows that we finish. We're like, oh, my God, that was amazing. Yeah. And you want those are the ones where you want to, you know, really pick and choose from that one. And um, a lot of about, I'd say a third of what, I'm, what, what I do personally on stage is, is off the head. So... I'm hoping that when we when we go through and choose, I had a really good night yeah. instead of a terrible <laughs> night where I was like, ah, rap and sing and sing and rap. You know, I, don't, I, don't, I hope that one doesn't make the live album. Yeah. But. And we're, we're going back to a bunch of places we've been before. Yeah. And so there's a few rooms in mind that we've had particularly good sh sound and yeah. shows and audience participation, yeah. which I think always adds a lot of energy to our performance, which is harder to capture in the studio, oh, for yeah. sure. Yeah. And um, most of the way we've been doing things for the past five years, we all live in different states. So, you know, even arranging time to go into the studio can be difficult. And this, the Nowhere to Run song has been the first time when it was doing it remotely. Like, I did my part in Texas with the live recording of a practice when we 
<laughs> wrote the song. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah, I was like, yeah. all right, guys, here you go. Yeah, let's see how it works. <laughs> and I did my part first, you know. Mm-hmm. It was like not, you know, it was kind of crazy, but at least with the beats you can be consistent and um, – It'll be really interesting because I think that is what's happened over the five years is we've taken songs that have been recorded and evolved them into something else that yeah. needs yeah. to be represented. Yeah, yeah, yeah cool. Um, so the Nowhere to Run, I think, was the single, basically a single, so to speak. It's a song that you guys put out uh, in anticipation of all this, but a song, I might add, I think we are not going to hear today. Right. Um, <laughs> so tell me a little bit about what we are going to hear next. Uh, next, we're going to go back a ways to a song called Gunsling and Rambler, which is uh, way back off of an album called Rappalachia. Mm-hmm. Oldie but goodie. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's a good song, right? Yeah. Let me see if I remember this one. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. yeah. One, two, three. <laughs> Another stage to wreck I got rhymes that ain't even seen the pages yet All you challenges, step up and place your bet And I'ma take them all out and not break a sweat Take your threats elsewhere, I stay on the road By the time I get back, kid, maybe you hope To be worthy of a face-off in the center of town The devil's waiting for you, boy, I'm sending you down Then it's on to the next, like that song from Jake Leaving the trail of bodies all along the way Some of y'all might believe that that's wrong to say But that's a rambler's life and how it's going to stay So think twice, then maybe have a third I am the voice of reason in case you haven't heard I spit hot enough that I can make the sun melt You're just gonna wind up but not show my gun belt Go! I went for shake no tears You can have my suit up fancy ride I don't hold it down And blazed across the plains Those in the know were afraid to say my name For fear that I might be an ear shot Or if not, I might just magically appear Ending rappers' careers And I'm taking it live Making orphans and children And widows of wives I'm not playing these guys Please let me explain But when I'm done There's very little left of their brains Drifting what's left of their intelligence And the rest is really just a shell of a man So keep that in mind If you think of going toe-to-toe Recognize for real This ain't my first rodeo I've gone flow for flow With hundreds of dudes Knowing all along I got nothing to lose And there ain't no stopping me I guess that I'm destined To keep on rambling on Like Led Zeppelin I would shed no tears Can't have my suit up fancy ride
Grab it. <laughs> I love playing that song. Yeah. Thank you, guys. No doubt, man. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we've heard three songs thus far from Gangsta Grass, and uh, we're going to do one more. Um, you know, one thing I wanted to ask, I'm sure you guys have been asked this, you know, a thousand and four times, but for our viewers who are just coming around, um, where does Doc Watson and Dead Prez, like, meet? You know, like, ha ha in what way did, when you guys were starting this out, did you feel like these kinds of music, these forms of music... To come together the way they do. What is it that links them? <laughs> <laughs> well, I had the initial inspiration for it, uh, just having that have been my influences listening to a lot of country music when I was growing up, because my dad's from Oklahoma. Uh, but we were living in California when hip hop was exploding in the 80s. I was growing up in third grade and recess for me was all about putting down cardboard to do your backspins to the Beat Street soundtrack and Run DMC. So becoming a producer here in New York, that was kind of, I was doing beats for MCs and always had urges to like, hey, you know what would sound cool here is a pedal steel guitar. And they'd be like, no. So I had to do it for myself. And, uh, and, and started doing the experimenting. But I think that there's um, a process that is still going on of us having the space to explore and find new ways that those come together and, and learn more. Like each year I feel like I find out new secrets about the, the common ground or different kind of cross-pollinations that have already happened. Yeah, I mean it seems like there is like thematically a real uh, connection between these forms of music. They're traditionally American, traditionally of kind of like, you know, a working class, hard scrabble, mm -hmm. up from, you know, bootstraps kind of music, yeah? Yeah. You nailed it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you know, uh, whether you know, we always tell people that whether, you know, it was a bunch of cats just, you know, in, in their neighborhood with somebody's turntables and their mics or a bunch of cats on their porch with their, with their with, you know, with their banjos and their pedal steels or whatever. It was just regular people were like, all right, well, we got nothing else to do. Let's make some music. And <laughs> yeah. Like the hip hop cats are, are open to it, you know, because hip hop can sample anything and they do They sample absolutely anything. And that's uh, that's all part of it. Some of the bluegrass purists are the people that uh, that sometimes are initially more resistant. But all you have to do is go back to, honestly, people like you mentioned, Doc Watson. You go back further than that. You start to go back to a point before, you know, there were white and black genres categorized by a music industry. It used to all be the same music. Yeah. And uh, in some ways, we're sort of bringing it back to that. We're hopefully going to hang out with uh, Dom Flemons uh, when we get down to the D.C. area where he's at and maybe, you know, uh, swap ideas with him on... Uh, some of the stuff that he's doing and, you know, just people who are looking looking backwards as well as forwards, uh, the commonality is all there. Yeah, yeah, cool. Um, so we're going to do one more today uh, with Gangs of Grass. Uh, tell me a little bit about what we're closing out with. <laughs> this is a fun one. This is for the. Uh, this is for those people who are uh, maybe maybe don't get it, and uh, still we haven't convinced you uh, in these You'd last few songs. You'd be shocked to find out that there are haters out there. Ah, uh, yeah, well, I, uh, I would be mild. Skeptics. Shocked. <laughs> There's skeptics. Yeah. it's mild shock. But we dedicate this song to uh, to those wonderful people. Joel, you want to say anything about it? Yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh, it, it's it's. Yeah, I like the song. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, Rich yeah, put together when he first sent me the track. Um, I got excited because it really allowed me to get into my bag. You know, um, mm -hmm. I'm from the South originally, so I didn't really get a chance to flex the accent. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. the accent comes hard. So Destined to happen, lips flapping, that's a major infraction. Hardly competition, minor distraction. Drop a hot one and then I watch the reaction. Don't cope, sign sipping, no salutes for the captain. Recognize game, you lames get marked absent. Huh. Base heads naturalized by this acid. Have a gasket while I walk away laughing. 
total package Open up the rapids Turn the other cheek for the slapping What's happening? Break them on down to a fraction and smash it Get embarrassed with ease, yo It's straight babbling Grind for the paper, big checks when I cash it Shorty's in my face cause she thinks I'm so fashion, huh? Think it's off base, go review your map then Shine with the light, get your cameras all action Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, man. This was uh, four songs uh, by Gangsta Grass. Uh, So you guys, everyone, uh, these guys have a live record coming out, but it's not made yet. Mm -hmm. They're going on tour, and they're going to record every single night. Yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pretty much. Every single night, and uh, going to put together a mix of new material Mm -hmm. and some older material. Some Mm -hmm. of we heard that mix today. And it's going to be uh, all for their first live album coming out uh, a little bit later this year, sometime in the fall, I think yep. we were talking about. in the fall. Yeah, cool. So uh, if you guys want to start seeing these shows, uh, you can find all that info on gangstagrass.com. Tomorrow night in D.C. And well, then yeah. uh, down the East Coast, I think, into the, into the Southland. Yeah, mm-hmm. East Coast, yeah. Southeast, Midwest. It's all there. Yeah. 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 Uh, so go, go to uh, gangstagrass.com. Uh, check out all these dates. Listen to some music. You can see the video, I think, uh, for the new single. Uh, whose name is Nowhere to Run. Nowhere to run. Yeah. That's right. right. Uh, cool, yeah. So uh, check that out um, and uh, follow these guys. Check out the tour and get ready for this album to come out. Guys, thank you so much, Gangster Grass, for coming to Paste and playing in our studio for us today. No doubt. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks, Thanks, yeah. Please come back and play in our cabin again anytime. This is perfect. A, a cabin in the middle of the city. Exactly. This, is, this is it's the Gangster awesome. Grass. Awesome. Awesome. It's pretty awesome. 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 I wasn't expecting this. Yeah, I'm going to sleep on that couch. All right, cool, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, man.